Hello. Right, we're here. At work. Um, I want a job we're doing five till two in the morning. So it'll be nice and quiet. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm working in that hole, in that cable way. One, two, three, four, five switches, I think. Maybe. Oh, I've just realised they're all locked off. How am I going to terminate them? I want to see someone about that. Anyway, the parallel feeds, I think. So there's six four core 120s, a 70 mil, and a 16 mil, a little 16 mil. So they've all got to go in there. So that's the process for the day. Somebody, let's have a look, has kindly drilled all the holes for me. Look, isn't that nice? That'll make my life a little bit easier. Let's, let's see if we can get some good light. Nah. I suppose it's good light, but I'm afraid it has to be extremely good light to make me look anything half decent. Right, so that's it. That's that's the job. That's what we've got to do tonight and probably tomorrow night. Um, and see how far we get. I'll see if I... I shall take you on the journey with me. Who said winter's coming? Good grief. Right, I'm going to level with you now. Show you some... Oh, it stinks. That cable there, 16 mil. I think it's a four car 16. Has been pulled through those ducts. Right? Now, I'm going to say somebody has had a wee wee in those ducts because that cable smells like Billingsgate Fish Market. And I know sometimes you can, the, the armouring can get a bit, uh, if it gets damp, it can get a bit smelly. But Jesus Christ, I can't even go near it. <sighs> yeah, watch. <laughs> oh, that is, oh, oh, that is minging. And I've just touched it with my bare hands. Oh, even worse. Just dropped the clanger, haven't I? Idiot. Look, you see? I've got extra, I've had to cut extra off. Now the reason being is because I didn't screw the gland in to the hole to get the correct measure. What I did was I measured to the gland plate and then I was gonna take, well, it's, it's that 10 mil, 15 mil. I was gonna take that off from here, that's where I marked it, and then I was going to subtract that little bit and make my armour cut there, but me being an idiot, I forgot to transfer the mark. So I've just cut round it again, and hopefully, these are quite short and pretty stiff, but I'm hoping I can bend them off. So, everyone makes mistakes. That's just not concentrating, that's all it is. So... Don't worry about it if you make mistakes. I've been doing it 25 years and I've just made one. So I think the last one I made was 2001, I think. So, you know, well, joking. But yeah, if you make a mistake, as long as you can rectify it, everything's all right, isn't it? Everything will be okay in the end. I tell you what, it is proper warm. So what I'm having to do as you can see, this one here, look, with a big roll in it, is the next one in. Um, I've got to overextend it, really twist it over on itself. And then what I'm going to do, I'll put the gland in this time. <laughs> no repeats. So I'll let it run up with the measure, with the measuring uh, cable over there, the red one. Um, and then bring the measuring cable back out, take it round the back, make make a mark, but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and straighten the cable up so the armor and twist round so it's in the sort of position it's gonna finish in. I'll see if I can show you what I'm what I'm what I mean. So just have a look at this.
Now, if I was to cut that the way that's twisted, what will happen is when I actually straighten it up, one side of the armoring is going to be longer than the other side when it gets straightened. There's a chance that it could pop out of the gland. So although it's tempting to put it on when it's got the curve on it, I really need sort of this bit here to be up there. So I'm going to lift it up. I might, I might bring it out here a little bit and lift it up there to make it easier for myself. Maybe put it over the top here. And then what that does, it gives it its, its natural position where it lays there rather than being all twisted and bent. So let's have a look at that. Oh, there's a the thing. I need to measure it. EV1. Oh, it's a short one. Good. Chuck that in the bin. That's not much use to anyone really. Right. There we go. It's not a lot, but it does help when the gland's on. Ooh. Right, I get the strip and get the gland put on it. Do you think that cable was maybe a bit tight to get in? If you look. That's where the cable starts. <laughs> so it's stretched. Good grief. A lot. Like 200 mil or something. Let's have a quick look, see if I can do it with a knife. Oh, I don't slip. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Where was that? Oh, actually, no. That's on. That's the armoring. So where has the cable gotten to? Right, let's have a bunch of that. Difficult with one arm. Anyway, I'll get back to that when I've got two hands and I've exposed it. There we go, look. So it was 200, 200 mil to the armoring. And then what's that? 70 mil to the actual cable. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... So there. It's <laughs> another one. 40 mil inside of that. Jesus. Talk about stretching a cable. I hope, that, I hope, it, I hope it's long enough. <laughs> it's got to go there. And that one from there up there's a, maybe. Oh, morning. 
I didn't film anything else last night because I got my head on and tried to get some cables actually landed and terminated so it's quarter past ten now I'm not going in till four o'clock so I'm gonna try Excuse me. try and get some more sleep and then um, I shall show you what I achieved last night bye bye well that was where I was working last night that's freshly poured concrete and finished. So there ain't no way I'm getting in there tonight to finish off. So they'll give me another job to do. Which, as it turns out, is bloody awful. So this is the current situation. I've got that one there, 4 car 150, and then it's 70 mil earth to go into there. And that one there, 4 car 120, to go into there. Now, that one has got to go above that switch, that DB board, because that door opens there. So that's got to be up, down and in. So I'll have to go on that side of the board. And this one, with it being so big, is going to have to, just the sweep of it is going to come over and go in this side of the board. Now, see these things? I detest them. Let's have a quick measure of what we've got. Tape measure in onto the nut it's not even 300 mil so you can take another 40 mil off that for the cable by the time it goes in to the lug 260 mil to terminate the 4 core 150 like come on I mean yeah the trunk could have been a bit bigger but even still so what I'm going to do is show you if you're ever up against one of these monstrosities I'm going to show you what you can do to make your life a little bit easier so you've got to work and you've realized you're working on one of these Eaton Glasgow switches awful things absolutely awful uh, you've got a 16 mil bolt nut and bolt M60 M16 so you've got a, a huge lug I've got a 4 core 150 to put in there. I've got 300, less than 300 mil from the trunk and to the connection. Um, so what you want to try and do is create as much room as possible because a 4 core 150 into there is going to go through the trunk and into the switch area, but then it's going to hit the, the actual disconnection mechanism, which is operated by this handle. I'll just show you the noise, the bloody noise it makes as well. Now, oh. now that was just going in. This is the disconnection. Oh, come on, where are we? Frankenstein, Doctor Frankenstein's laboratory. Anyway, as you can tell, I don't like the things. But to make your life a little bit easier, I'll show you. There's a couple of you can take a couple of bolts out and you can get rid of this whole thing which at least gives you a little bit of room so if you look on either side you've got that's your spring your tension spring and then you above that you've got a 17 mil bolt and you've got one exactly the same setup on the other side if you take those two 17 mil bolts out this whole contraption comes out so then at least you've got a little bit of room to work in. If you're uh, not satisfied, there is a step further you can take. There we go. So now we've got quite a bit of room, but if you if you look, that's the front of the 
well that's the back let's go the back the cable comes in you're still gonna hit this fuse well is it a fuse carrier it's not a fuse carrier really is it you're gonna hit this terminal right so if you look in there a couple of flathead bolts you can take those out and the bottom one as well because uh, the only reason I'm showing you this one is because my cable is going to come in here now if I haven't got enough room to be able to bring it through and down to the bottom I could t I could if I wanted to take those two out and it's just a matter of taking four four bolts out and then you've got all of the room in the actual switch so I hope that was a little bit useful for you something useful for a useless switch. I detest them, I really, really do. See that? Rotary isolator, beautiful. Right, I've got the cable glanded. There's me hole with a banjo on. I'm hoping that up there, there's enough space, because there's only 600 mil, that's all, all I need. I'm hoping that there's enough to lift it up into that space and drop it into the into the switch oh, I've already done my ring because that inside there will be very difficult to get your knife around the back so always remember to do that if you're in an enclosed space it's best good practice to do it anyway but let's have a see let's have a look to see if we can get it in Right, and you couldn't see it in the la in the last part of the video, but here there was a piece of the basket. Now, it wasn't serving anybody any purpose. Those cables were tied on that one; they jumped up to there. There's a piece of whatever that is, cat six or something. I don't know where that's going, but that can jump or whatever it can do because this one's more important. So what I've tried, what I'm trying to do now is it's going to come in. It leaves the rack over there. It's, like there's no containment for it um i'm hoping to let it drift across it's got to go that's the thing it's got to go back quite a way look so i've got to get it back that way but also keep it clear of this door being able to open so i've got to be conscious of that but that wall is stopping me getting the cable back i've got my thinking cap on but it's, uh, hmm, I don't know. And also, look, when I said about Glasgow switches, look at that. I don't, we won't get the, the lugs until tomorrow. But look, look at that. I, I've bent that the best I can. Is that going to go, is it going to go on straight? Or is that going to come in at an angle? That one, I'll, I'll probably get straight. And the grey, I can get straight. The neutral will be straight because it goes straight down. But let's look at that cross bloody thing. The reason I've done it like that, I could have took this over the front, but then what that does is it traps this cable and I've got, if I put that one over, I've got no movement on it. Whereas this, I can move up in here. So I'll put the neutral on first at the back and then this one up and down, up and down. And then I've still got movement on that one and that one. Put that one on first, then that one next. But yeah, think and cap on for this. 
I don't quite know what to do. I've got nothing to brace off. I think maybe that, if you can see it, that unit stuck up there, I could probably get the chain block on and maybe pull it in there and bend it against it. Like bend it out this way to try and form it back in. I don't know. So, I've got the chain block on there, up onto a higher, a higher unistrut. So what I'm going to try and do now is bend, so that's like an anchor point. If I pull this way, it's not going to pull the cable this way because that's, that's where it's anchored at. But what it will do, it will form a bend. So I'm hoping that when I bend this, this way, I'll be able to sort of manoeuvre it back into this space where it forms that bend. So here we go. I don't know whether I'm hitting the scene or not. Oh, you beauty. Yes. Well, that's just done exactly what I wanted it to do. Yes, you belter. It's up and above, the door can open. That's gonna run down sort of there. Oh, you what? Like Hannibal from the year team. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm just gonna give it another bit of a bit of a rock and a roll in this direction. mark on the back wall that oh, you see that line that line is where it wants to be that's where the hole is and if I push it in there look that's exactly what it wants to do that's only a 4 core 120 don't think of some sort of he-man that was a 150 it was a bit stiffer stiffer right I can get a measure of that now I'll put the gland on and then uh, obviously the next bit is trying to get in the bloody hole. But again, I'll only need 600 mil, so I might be able to lose it up in the gap and then let it drop back in. I'll show you that. Today. Here we go. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's take the snatch off it. A snatch. Huh. Will YouTube demonetize me for that? Oh dear. Yeah, this is going to be a pig. Fudgerama. Hang on. Hang on. That's a good way to make a living. That's it. I'm out of room.
Try to push it up further than it needed to go. Now. Don't do that. I'm gonna track my fingers here. Don't be that kid, you know? Oh, man. Oh, look, you stupid sod. I haven't even took the guts out of the switch yet. It won't go anywhere. So here, you can see my predicament. Cable's coming in, so it's sort of at the duct. I need it to go that way. But when I push it that way, it catches on that. So I need it to go that way, but I can't, because again, hit the strut, hit that, and then that needs to come across so it can drop straight down inside of there. So I'm in Pinch Point City at the minute, which is very frustrating. Oh, for God's sake, it's like millimeters. But now, that needs to come forward, that needs to push back, you know, to allow it to drop. Now is that going to work? Come on you pal, yes. That's a good noise that, I like that noise. It's my, one of my favourite noises. One of my favourite noises is when the missus says, Do you fancy walking down the pub? Yeah, I think I do. Make some more noises like that. Right, I just need to straighten this up. What I've got to do, I've got to pull it forward a little bit to get the lock nut on, but then what's going to have to happen is up here, I'm going to have to pull it sort of that way and in, but that's all right, that's, that's all right, mama. Happy days, that though, I'm happy with that. Need to strip that down and I'll bend them. I'm just hoping that the grey's on the back and the other three are up on this side so they can sweep across. Because uh, it'd be a bit of a pain if they're not. Well, that's it for tonight. Ordering them um, lugs for tomorrow. And then I've got to re drill holes for the earths because we couldn't get any 20 mil stuffing glands so we've got 25s so they're going in and then i've got another job to f start tomorrow which is some single core 240s so that'll be nice right then i've got one oh, that's bright isn't it got one job finished tonight which is those they're terminated now both of them, they were an absolute pig. I want to show you. A couple of them aren't straight, but it was just, you know, you can see. So if you look, obviously, I think we measured that one yesterday. It's 240 mil or something. And then you've got to, I've got to get those bent into position. And this one's the same. They were just really really awkward i've put the guts back in i've connected the earth to the outer case of the uh of the actual board so now i'm going to go back into the room where i started on monday um finish those off which was four 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 core 120s so i've got to finish those off 
and then that's me tonight. I can't get onto those singles until tomorrow, so that's going to be a push to get 20 done in a shift. I might come in early, try and try and get it pushed on, but um, it might be an early shift for me tonight. An early finish, sorry. Oh, I've got an itchy hand. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought I'd let you know about that. So, I didn't show you me terminating them because I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit pessimistic of how difficult it would actually be. So I didn't, sh I didn't uh, video any of it. Chicken. <laughs> right, then we're back in the substation. And this is where I was on Monday night. So I, got, I managed to get them all glanded on Monday. That one terminated, the 70 mil at the bottom terminated. And now I'm just doing this one. Now, I've got... These are parallel feeds, so there's going to be eight cores. That one's going to go on there. And I've got four left. There's another switch there. And another two cables there. <laughs> so they haven't got enough lugs. Good grief. Clean the lens, it's telling me. Hang on. So, I knew I was getting an early finish tonight. But it's going to be a super early finish because uh, I've got this neutral to put on and I've got those, that four, that's it. That's it, it's done. So I've got to get onto them, get them, uh, get an order. Here in the morning, so when I come in, I'm going to come in early tomorrow. I'm going to come in at about three o'clock instead of five. Um, finish this and then hopefully scoot over to... Um, the other side where all those singles are, and I can show you those. And hopefully get them done. Because I want to get them done rather early-ish, because I don't want to be here till 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Because we're going to watch England Ladies on Friday over at Leicester. And, um, yeah, I don't really want to be too late getting home. Because if I leave here at 2, I won't get home till about half 4, 5 o'clock. I'll have about four hours sleep and then we'll be up and getting on the road to go over there. So anyway, I might get some kip tonight. See you in the morning. Here we are at the cold face. Um, I've got the first neutral on. I've got three phases and a neutral in each duct. So there's five ducts. So the plan is the first four on the back second which would be this duct here I go on the front of those the third now what you've got here is look you've got a split so there's a couple there and then there's one behind so it'll be onto that one i'm going to put that just on its own and then on this one i'm going to put those two at the front into there so that one is going to get its this pot this duct is going to get its own copper bum 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 and then the two at the front, which are those two there, are going to share the front one. Just because it obviously makes it, makes it more difficult trying to get a spanner into the back there. You can't really get your ratchet in and all that sort of nonsense, whereas you can at the front. So that's, a, that's how we're going to go. It, oh, my, my watch broke, so I can't even tell you what time it is. But it's still light outside, so it's not that late. But I'm hoping to get this... I've given myself four hours. <laughs> That'll be right. Just had a quick look. It is five o'clock. So nine, say 10 o'clock. If I can get this finished for 10 o'clock, I'll be well happy. We'll see. And that, girls and boys, is that. So, I've got 19 done, plus the earth, because that one, which is gonna go on there eventually, is um can't find a lug for it they brought 20 lugs over and obviously the 20 lugs are for the cables but they didn't anticipate the earth now the earth had to go in after the first 12 were done because the front eight would have blocked getting it done so i made an executive decision so i put that on so next week when i come back i shall connect that first job and then hopefully in here 
there's going to be a lot of cables getting pulled and dropped in so some of this might have to come out so I've got a bit of room to work with but uh, I think this is where I am I'm not 100% sure but yeah there's stuff to do and that's it for this week it's uh, it's been a good one it's been a fun week I've enjoyed it so it's some challenges but uh, those Glasgow switches were bloody awful but that's what they are aren't they they are bloody awful so that's it um, I'm going to make my way home now oh by the way it's quarter past eight so what time did I start doing this five half five so I haven't done bad I haven't done bad at all um, so yeah we'll jump in the, in the van now get loaded up and uh, off home I have to wash me wash me scruffy hands look bloody disgusting that's, that's the aluminium off the off the singles that but anyway if you got this far as usual little thumbs up thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in a bit thanks for watching the other videos Ta-da.